Hi, and welcome to my second vlog about 3D printing. So I've had the printer for about, let's say, two weeks. Almost, probably three weeks now, almost. And I've done a lot of printing. I've gone through an entire roll, which is about that much. This is a new roll. So I, I use all my blue stuff. I had some spare. I don't know where I put it. <clears throat> anyway, I used up all the blue. And now I've moved on to a different kind of roll. And this one is uh, ABS. The first roll I used was PLA. And now I moved on to my ABS to see the difference between them. I've asked quite a few people and most people said that ABS is just more durable and resistant plastic compared to PLA and it'll be interesting to see because they're the same price anyway as you can see I'm printing again it's just literally just started because I just finished uh, the big project I was just doing which was uh, this and this is made out of lots of little parts it's about this ha this size this is my hand I haven't got very big hands but uh, this is a pen, just a regular pen. It's not very big. I think I could make it bigger, and I will be making it bigger, just a bit bigger. About maybe about that much bigger. Maybe so that it's exactly like the, about the size of my hand. And it's made out of lots of little bits. And if I can put you down, well, that's down enough. You can see that it has joints that should be able to move. This one moves. This is the only one that I haven't glued together because uh, because I uh, printed it in the lowest sweat setting and the lowest quality and the lowest fill it is very brittle and very uh, fragile. Very light as well because there's nothing to it. It's literally just an outside coating of plastic. And this isn't focusing very well. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's a bit more focused now. Uh, sorry about how terrible my camera is. Uh, yeah, it's just my iPhone. Uh, let's see if you can get a bit more details. So, you see all the little joints? They, in theory, should be, uh, be able to move. But I've had to glue them together because <clears throat> I, I think I made a small mistake with scale and how big the holes and the, the bits that go in the holes are because I didn't leave enough space. In the 3D model, I'll just bring it up, this is really unprofessional, but like, the 3D model, I cut up and made it like this, but like, yeah, as you can see, I separated it up into little bits and the joints clip in between each other and like you have to glue, oh, sorry, glue the uh, halves together to have uh, it work. But anyway, it doesn't stand up very well because uh, the legs are a bit too close. And this one isn't glued on very well. But as a prototype, this is the version 1.2 of it. I had a lot of problem with scales. I was using what I was doing before I was making it in Maya and then taking it into ZBrush to make to export to an STL and then bringing it up to M3D's own software. The problem with that is though that uh, ZBrush, the scale was really hard to get right when you're bringing in lots of individual little bits. So I was having a lot of trouble with let's see the first one I did where the head is okay, the neck I realise is a bit long, the, oh God, the body is a bit funky and the legs are really funky shaped. This is the same thing happened with one of my mice where this happened, where I woke up and there was an error and the top half of the, uh, the mouse hadn't been printed. So I was like, okay, I'll just cut it off in Maya and just print out the top bit and then it'll be fine. I calculated how long it would be and then exported it and this is the scale I got compared to this bit, as you can see they do not match but my calculations should have made it match so then I realised there was an issue with ZBrush's 
scale and like I have so many bits which like the foot is tiny but it should be the same scale and like exporting different things this is why I have them set up in this sort of little grid to try and eliminate it and printing out big clumps at once uh, but what I do now is I take it into a different program to export, which is this one, uh, Autodesk's 123D. And that just doesn't mess up the scale. It's always going to be the same scale, no matter what. So that's what I've been doing. It took me a long time to figure out how to fix this stupid scale problem. I have, like, that's how I had, like, giant arms. I was like, this should be the same scale. Like, export it at the same scale, but when I bring it in, it's not the same scale. And then I'm like, what the hell do I do? Anyway, here I have a just big massive box of off cuts that are wrong. Just like prototypes, I like to call them. Just like joints and mice that didn't come out very well, and something just went blank. And I have a blue carpet, so I never find anything that I drop. But here are the two mice. Not sure if you if I showed you last time, but. Uh, yeah, these are cut up into lots of little bits. This one... I don't think this is this one cut up. Oh yeah, I cut the arms off. You can't really tell because the camera isn't focused. But there's a small cut where the arm joins the other bit of the arm. And the ears are stuck on. And this one, that you see, as you can see, this, the ears aren't in scale on this one. I wonder why this is a, the desired scale. It just makes it a bit too top heavy if the ears are slightly too big and you can hear the wonderful sounds of the printer which will be going all night. Ah, beautiful. It's a beautiful noise. I love it. It's weird when I don't hear it. Like, I, the, the printer will stop and I won't realise and I'll be like, where's, what's, why is it so quiet? And I'm like, oh, the printer's done. <laughs> ah. If you can hear me over that printer, I'll be impressed at the ca of how good the camera is and how bad it is. <clears throat> so yeah, right now what I'm doing is I'm printing out another mouse so that I can test to see the difference between the plastics, uh, whether this one's better or not. I also have a kilo, if you can see, of glow-in-the-dark blue, which I will be testing out after I've done my second version of this guy. I'm making him in, I'm making him in uh, ABS. I'm making him a bit bigger. Make a few changes. The ears, as you can see, he has no ears. He should have ears, but they were too fragile and too like didn't have enough structural integrity, so they just like didn't even print. And like this little bit, the, the feet kind of need to be redesigned. This one's okay, but the one behind it doesn't have the little guard. And uh, I have to figure out a better way of joining it all together because right now I'm just gluing it together, and it's pretty fid uh, pretty fiddly. Like, I have to sit there holding it together, which is not desired. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's my second update. I'm not sure when the third update will be. It might be soon, depends how if the, uh, it depends if the ABS mouse is a lot better than the PLA mouse. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, bye.